Okay, I have a question. There's any possibility we can like add another exercise in the um, leg days? Because I see that, for example, I see that here there's a lot of uh, like there are one, two, three days where I do like uh, upper body. Mm -hmm. And in my case, usually I do three days of legs and just two days of upper body and one cardio. Okay. So I don't know if we can change that. Okay. Are you, I'm guessing you're concerned about the volume, like the amount of leg work you're getting in over the course of the week? Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Because I see there's three, three days that I have like upper body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't want to increase my upper body, like <laughs> grow my upper body. No. Well, here's the thing with that. The chances of that happening are minimal. I would say real low. Um, mostly due to the fact that like when it comes to like, so when we're, we're thinking about some of the muscles that we're attacking for uh, for the leg day stuff, the leg day is very, like we're very glute focused. There's a lot of that kind of happening. Um, and so we're stimulating a single muscle group enough to really achieve maximal results as much as just possible. There's going to be some limitations because estrogen functioning as it does will limit you significantly in terms of how much muscle mass you can put on. It's one of the reasons guys and girls progress so differently when we're lifting. Testosterone is a fantastic uh, engine for driving muscle growth. Estrogen, literally the opposite on, on that scale. It can be very challenging for, for women to put on muscle mass. Um, and so it, it requires a great deal more effort. And the idea, you you getting bulky, I would say the chances, of, it's just not gonna happen. Like I would say there's a nine, it's not impossible. And especially the way the split is organized, it's organized to basically hit like upper body muscle groups just like once. It's enough to like create a little bit of like muscle definition uh, and improve shape. But for the most part, like in terms of like really putting size on, Nah, there's, this is not, it's not aggressively focused on that. It's just basically in terms of the way this one's set up, um, the legs are hit twice as hard as the upper body is hit because of how the, the focus works for the leg uh, exercises that we're doing. And then the upper body is just meant to kind of like, we're going to take the boxes to make sure that we don't have like weirdly uneven development and so that the rest of the body still also achieves some of the goals of maybe like, you know, you want to have more muscle definition in the arms. Maybe you want, you know, a little bit better shape to the shoulders, or maybe you want a uh, better taper from shoulder to waist, you know, help that, those sorts of things. Okay. So we have two options because if you're just working, if we're, we're if the current thing that you're kind of like concerned about is volume, we have two ways we could go about this. We could very well add an extra exercise definitely a possibility. Um, the other thing we could do, and it's what I would be a slightly more keen on doing, um, is to add more, another set all round. And so we're okay. getting even more sets, we're getting more sets per, per exercise. Uh, so add an extra set, I would say at least one, maybe two, depends on how you feel, depends on how, how all this goes, but like at least one extra set per exercise, which would still bring us up an extra um, an extra basically three sets per day. So the volume would still bring us up to 24 sets uh, per per week for legs, which would still be achieving the, extent, the same result. And the benefit there is that when we do that is we have the option now, since we're not adding an extra exercise in, when we do get that sort of like, I'd like to change the exercises because I feel like I'm just getting kind of bored or I like some like mixing thing, mix things up a little bit. We have extra exercises in the pocket we haven't pulled from them just to add an extra extra volume that wasn't needed now so like instead of having to like put an extra exercise in well, actually two extra exercises in now we have those two for later when you want to mix things up and keep things interesting so they'll be fresh at that point in time making it easier to keep everything feeling fresh and everything feeling new while still optimizing the glute building program itself do you which do you think works best for how you how you want to approach it yeah, the second one with the sets and we can do what you cool. you say that we can change because yeah, I was thinking also that. Mm -hmm.